All right, let's recap. You know what? I think this is working. Now I just have a long to-do list of things I have to get done to make this guitar play. So that's where I left off in my previous video. I thought I could just go through the list and that would be it, but not so much. I actually ran into some hurdles and one of them was pretty big. So I need to put the screws in the jack plate and the back plate. I need to put a ground wire from the bridge to the volume part. And I have to shorten the springs for the neck pickup. I think they are too long. Then I have to get the right size nuts for these parts. Uh, for some reason they were not on the parts as they usually are when I got them. And then something that's a little annoying, the pick guard doesn't fit with the metal guard thing here. So I have to make them fit somehow. I don't know why that doesn't fit. Okay, then I have to take care of some shielding issues so that it's all connected. As you can see, there's a current flowing. And let's try it from here to here. There's a current flowing as well. This uh, pickguard will connect these two points and this will be connected to this uh, cavity as well. So watch what happens when I make this connection firmer. The noise is less. Amazing. And it was nothing. So this connection is pretty important. I need to place the bridge pickup and then the strings are going on. I have to give it a setup and a test run. That's the to-do list. Let's get to it. All right, so that's it. Uh, the strings are on. There's a few things I'm not that happy with. For now, it's playable. The volume works.
Sparks. The Boost. And without the face whisper. It's promising, but it's not quite there yet. So that's where the really frustrating problems became apparent. Take a look at this. The bridge is not straight with the pick guard. And I simply couldn't live with that. So what I actually did was I plucked the holes and I re-drilled the holes. And now that the bridge was off, I drilled the holes for the screws holding the bridge pickup. I put foam underneath and that worked out pretty nicely. And now the bridge is straight. Then I actually replaced some of the thick wire just to make more space in the cavity. And that was it. I had the finished guitar. I was ready to hear it play. And then this happened. Did you hear that? Did you hear the scratchy sound? That scratch. What's that? I simply couldn't figure out what that was and then it hit me. I took a screwdriver and I just tried to turn these screws right here. I actually also use some of this D5 stuff, it's amazing stuff, to make the connection and that worked. All right, so now it's time to hear the guitar. On this recording, there's still a little scratchy sound, but it sounds great and the, the pickups really sound good, I think. Check it out. So the neck pickup as lead. And now for the big moment, let's hear the boost. That's not bad. That's thick. So that's it. The Andy Summers guitar build is done. Of course, there are still some things I want to tweak, but it plays well, it sounds good, I'm pretty happy with it. I want to thank Guitar Anatomy and Tube Amp Doctor for supporting me on this build. You can check out the links in the description. If you want to boost your tele like the Andy Summers guitar, you can get the templates for the cavities and the wiring diagram. There's a link in the description. That's also a great way to support this channel. Please subscribe, hit the like button. I really appreciate it. But there's still one question unanswered. Can this guitar sound like the police? Well, I decided to dedicate a whole video to the tones I can get out of this guitar. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, if you haven't seen the whole build series of this Andy Summers Telecaster, you can check out the playlist right here.